God we have. What a mighty God we have. Oh, how are you? We almost did not come on tonight. I don't know. Perhaps you wanted to keep watching that election in Atlanta, but you're not going to see results tonight till probably tomorrow morning. But anyway, most of you said, I even asked you, I said, well, should we have one tonight? And mm. all you faithful ones, Cheryl, I'm telling you, we have such faithful people. They said, I'd watch. I don't Precious, care wonderful. what election is playing tonight. I, w <laughs> I want to hear your election <laughs> on the piano. Oh, thank oh you, and you know what? We need good music right now. We need music that blesses God, that blesses this nation. And, uh, and so that's why we're on tonight. I want us to really do something very special. I want, I want to, uh, this is what I want you to really pray about. This is, this tonight's going to be prayer. Even while I'm playing, I need you to pray for some very specific things that need to be prayed about. Now, you, you can select whichever you want. I have a list, a little bit of a list here. And uh, really focus on that one request that you want to select. And this is what we have to do. Number one, of course, the Georgia, the Georgia election. I almost couldn't, couldn't even pronounce Georgia. Please, Georgia election, uh, that it's fair and honest. Yes. A friend of mine sent this, helped me to write this list. Second one, again, number one again, Georgia election today. Of course, all the votes are in, so we're praising that it was a, we're praising God that it's going to be a fair election. Okay, number two, saving of our constitutional republic. Got to pray for that, okay? Yes, please, would you please? Pardon me for well, shaking this. Okay, Cheryl, get it situated I'm because trying. it's very important right here, okay? I know it is. Yes, sir. Okay, you got the first one. There's a second one saving of our constitutional republic. You got that? God help us. The third one is about tomorrow in D.C., Washington, D.C., a fair hearing and count and I believe it was a fraud. I'm going to say that. I, I, I just know everybody that has watched this and has studied it knows that there's, there's been fraud involved in this election. That the count of, of this fraud has, okay, that, that a fair hearing of the count of the election for the President of the United States. Yes. I know some of you saying, oh, get over it, Dino. Come on, let's move on. Some of you have already told me that. But I'm not, we're not going to. No. <laughs> not until the fat lady has sung, <laughs> whoever that is, okay? But you know what I'm saying? It needs to be fair. That tomorrow, Washington, D.C., oh, there are thousands of people there right now. Thousands mm -hmm. that are praying. You see, I worked for Catherine Kuhlman, and her theme was, I believe in miracles. Amen. And that's what we're believing for, yes. a miracle. And whatever the outcome is, we're going to trust God and say, okay, Lord, thank you. Then we will move on and pray, continue to pray for this nation one way or another. And the last but not least, let us pray for revival in this nation. We need a spiritual awakening. You believe that, don't you? Oh, I do too. Cheryl does too. Yes. Let's pray for that. Now, some, I want you to pray. Even during this time that we're having Facebook, I want you to pray for this nation. Pray for the revival, the rude, rude awakening that we need. That's what you call it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I, you know what I mean. And again, tomorrow is very important. Thousands and thousands of people already are there and still coming to Washington, D.C. These are people that love God with all their heart and want the truth to be known. To win. The truth, yes, Cheryl, the truth to win. Yes. What a mighty God we have. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What we serve or have, doesn't matter. I want you to pray while I'm playing the next two or three numbers.
pray for the nation, pray about tomorrow, pray about our Constitution. In the name of Jesus, we ask for the almighty truth to come forward. Yes, Lord, we pray now.
I'll tell you what. I decided to play peppy music tonight. He's a lily of the valley. Yes, he is. Oh, praise God. praise God. This is so good to be with you again on a Tuesday night. And we've only been on for 13 minutes, but we sure got a lot of music in there. And please keep praying, as I mentioned at the beginning. If you didn't hear it, go back, reverse. And I gave about four or five different things that we need to pray about. Yes. And the last one is that, that we're being, being a, a, a spiritual awakening in this nation. And I'll tell you, I believe it's happening in, in Washington, D.C. as we're speaking right now. Amen. Thousands of people are there. I even noticed the Christian flag being lifted and people that believe in not killing yes. these precious little babies but believe that they should be born. And this is what we have to do. We have to agree with with that, we have to agree with the word of God. They shall live in the name of Jesus. And that truth will be marching on. Hallelujah. Woo, I'm yeah. worn out already. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Goodbye, folks. No, I'm still here. I really am. Oh, thank you, Lord. Cheryl, what do you think? What's going on right now in this world? I think. In this nation. I think that I heard a wonderful preacher use great wisdom. Speak up so everybody can hear you. People continually say, it's all in God's hands. It's all under control. But you know who's in God's hands? We are. We are. And we are the instruments that are to do God's will and work his plan. He doesn't come down himself and work that plan. That's right. He uses his children. And so you cannot go around just saying, oh, it's all.
because oh that's not what I did because he lives that's it Cheryl that's why oh, you're yeah. there for me <laughs>
almost forgot you were there. <laughs> I was just so into, into the spirit of these awesome songs that we all have sung. I love you, Lord. Do you love him tonight? Oh, I know a lot of you do, and you've, you've been telling us week after week how much you love your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for him, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be sitting right here. We sure wouldn't be here either. Right. But because of his love, oh, he's so good. and his goodness to us, yes. we will survive. Amen. 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 <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. I just, I just feel the presence of God. Oh, that was these nice. past few moments. Wonderful. It was so. And I'm going to ask you to continue to pray Jesus, yes. for an awakening. Mm -hmm. And I feel that these hymns and these songs that we were raised on, songs that I grew up with and you did too, will last forever, and that they'll become popular again. They'll be sung in churches, and the young people will know. You'd be surprised. The many young people, teenagers and young adults that write us and say, thank you, Dino. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of grandmas, too, that say, I remembered you 100 years ago and I went to one of your concerts. <laughs> <laughs> that long? And one said, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes, we've been in the ministry for many, many years. This didn't just happen, that's for sure. Oh, that's true. Cheryl was raised in the church, her dad was a preacher, pastor, and her mom was a teacher of the word. And I, as I always say, I, I feel like I was born in the first pew of my church Amen. in New York City, Glad Tidings Tabernacle in Manhattan. And how wonderful that was. Think about it, Cheryl. The, that which we've been taught by our parents and our grandparents. All and our lives. grandparents, too. Raised us up to know Jesus oh, and yeah. that's the greatest gift the greatest that we, gift we could given possibly us. have oh, it's the greatest so well i didn't plan to keep you even this long but i just want to touch base with you and let you know that we're still living we're still here <laughs> and we're still still here for you that's for sure and i know you're there for us have you noticed the numbers that we've been getting lately cheryl has been amazing it i think the last uh, time we had facebook I would say hundreds have said, this is my first time. How does that happen? You it's know, because you're sharing, probably. You are. And when you share, you we share. get new people, yeah. But, mm -hmm. but it was exceptionally interesting. Like God just, just placed favor on our Facebook. One, I mean, right in the row. First time, first time. All over the United States, all over the world. First time, first time, first time. It was a supernatural thing because yes, we, yes. we didn't push. All I said is, if you are a first timer, just let us know. In the past, I've done that too. And one or two or three will say, I'm a first time. But the last time we did this, yes. there were hundreds of first timers. Hey, you first timers, I hope you're a second timer. Are you back on? <laughs> let me know if you are because <laughs> now you're part of the fold. You're right here with us as oh, family. Man. We're going to love you until you cut us off. <laughs> Even after that, we'll, we'll be praying you for still. you for That's sure. That's right. Please continue to send your testimonies and, and encourage others. Pray for others on Facebook. Well, we get a lot of that. Isn't oh, that wonderful? We're so blessed. I read all the conversations that you guys do between each other. And I know a lot of you have gained new friends as a result of our Facebook. Oh, yeah. And isn't That's this right. great fellowship? Yes, it is. Great fellowship. You know, I was thinking of the... We are Christ ambassador. This was a Summer of the God youth uh, theme. And if you're not a Assembly of God, you probably missed it, but this was it right here. And to see if I, if I don't, I may not know the, never even the words, but I know the music. Isn't that funny? I'm not good with words, but I can remember the music. Well, sure. That's and you're good God with words. And it goes. <laughs> The first part is right. <laughs> and then uh, we show our colors and whatever. It's, just, it's one of those Assembly of God youth songs. You know, every now and then on stage, you make up some lyrics, too, if you can't remember the I know, ones. sure. Well, you, uh, yeah, not me. I just, play, I just play the music, that's for sure. <laughs> but our memory is going to be wonderful for each and every one of us. Keep eating those blueberries, I'm telling you. Yes. They're a miracle fruit, that's for now sure. I have and it's been proven scientifically. Have. 
Blue, blueberries are fa any kind of fruit for sure. And the greens. Yeah, right now we're doing a lot of that because we're watching mm -hmm. our weight. Because as you probably have heard me say that more than probable, is that the word? Uh, yeah. That's right. Probably we're going to be in Nashville playing uh, 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 a show Musical at the show? Ray Stevens Theater. The, 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 it's called, what is it called? Oh. Cabaret. Cabaret. Cabaret Ray Theater. Ray, yeah. Cabaret Ray Stevens. And listen, why don't you call there? If, if, you want, if you want to get tickets for that, call them. Call them and just say, when is Dino going to be there? Very good. Because I want to nail that date. Be, help, yes. help me do that. You be my manager. Okay. <laughs> call the Ray Stevens Theater in yes. Nashville, Tennessee. It's, it's in the area. And even if it's an answering service, when is Dino going to be there? When is Dino going to be there? Just flood that telephone uh, there in Nashville. I don't want to have the number. But don't tell them I told you to do this. <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> oh, you can... But you could say, are you ever going to have Dino there? And I, you could tell them that you did here because we did discuss about the possibility. And it seems like it just may happen. We just have to pray about this virus. That's yeah. what closed the doors for that. But still call. Because let's believe by March, or the middle of March, the doors will be open. Would and you can come wonderful? and I'll be playing classical music. Cheryl will be singing those love songs. And then I'll be playing... Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> we're gonna have four dancers, and the sets are gonna be beautiful. And it's kind of open because it's like cabaret. It's like you have tables there. You'd be served dinner. Uh, you could be served uh, a drink like Coca Cola. It's a lovely uh, Seven thing. Up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't lovely. ask for anything else but that. But that. Lovely. Uh, but it's gonna be a lovely evening. It's very intimate. It'll be close. But of course, we gotta wear the costumes. Cheryl will be in her beautiful costume dresses. And, I get to play dresses. And I'll be pulling out some of the ones <laughs> that I, I've been wearing and it'll be a fun night. Entertaining yes. night. Yes. And we need to celebrate together. Yes, we Let's need to celebrate. Each and other. of course, the gospel music will be played and will be sung. Yes. We end with, oh, I don't know, I may bring that, that, I just may bring the illustration about salvation. And that's like, I don't know if you saw it, but it's, it's kind of an illusion thing that was given to me by uh, Co David F Copperfield's mentor, who's a, who I believe is still living, Andre Cole, uh, he brought it to me. And yes. I'm telling you, we've, we've played this in every theater, and not one person that comes to be entertained that night could say they haven't heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Isn't that fun? Amen. And we're bolder than ever today, I'm telling you, about the gospel. And especially, things turn out not the way we want them to turn out, we got to be bolder with the Word of God. That's why we're with you on Sunday mornings. Don't we love that, Cheryl? Oh, I do. Are yes. you preparing already for next Sunday? Oh, yes. Absolutely. I'm telling you, Cheryl has some great thoughts spiritually that we could learn from the Word of God. And I just thank the Lord. Yeah. Give Him praise. For sure. For sure. Well, uh, and you know, I wanted to acknowledge some people tonight that have been gifting us throughout this Christmas season. And saying, Dino, we appreciate your ministry, and we get checks and <laughs> checks in the mail, which is nice because it goes into our ministry to help support us, yes. cover our overhead. Mm -hmm. And I, I unashamedly will say that to you that that really would bless us if you can if you can share that which God has given to you for this ministry. And we'll try to be faithful oh, yes. on coming on here and giving you the word and music. Amen. Uh, I've got a lot more music in my spirit that I could play forever and ever. It's and just ever. a joy to get to be with you and to read it afterwards. Is. It really, really is. What you need or what mm -hmm. you have or what you're sharing. Did you get your stimulus check? Lord. I hope you did. That's a blessing right there. All right. There you go. See how God's blessing us. Checks in the mail. That's a good thing. Absolutely. Into your bank. Yeah. Thank God for the government that we have that has right. done that to help so many restaurants. And it's of course, we closed good. ours, you know, here in Branson. We'll be closed for three months. But don't let that stop you from ordering piano books or the hymn book or CDs or cakes even because we could, we could ship those out to you. So the, the store is closed, but the, the bakery is still be open and we can still ship out all kinds of product to you. So be sure to go to Branson, what is it, Cheryl? Bransoncakes.com. Mm -hmm. Bransoncakes.com. Bransoncakes.com. Sing that. Bransoncakes.com. <laughs> Put a little chorus on the Bransoncakes.com. Well, sleep well tonight. I'm going to end with a song again. 
uh, as I always do. I don't know why majesty always comes to me at the end. Oh, People love majesty. Uh, yes. that's, that's pretty much our theme song. Worship is majesty. Yes. Should I play it again, Cheryl? Of course. Would you like to hear majesty again? Every time I play it, it's different. I never play the same thing twice. Have you noticed that? Which is awesome. Unless I'm doing a symphonic thing. Of course, i got to play exactly how it's written. But when I'm with you, it's totally impromptu. You can hear that because when I play some weird notes, that's totally unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> but it's impromptu. So, Majesty. Amen. That's how I do it this time. Never did that before. this nation please yes, yes. pray about tomorrow at washington dc because god is doing a mighty work among the body of christ yes things are shifting things are happening Praise in the name god. of jesus Glory to his as name. i said a while ago i believe in miracles Praise you know why we believe in miracles because we believe in god Amen. good night have a restful night until the next time keep us in touch okay Bye.